and it's called the silent killer, and it's the leading cause of death for firefighters. Not the fires they fight, but cancer, often caused by the carcinogens that they encounter. Anchor Bailey Bates joins us live in the studio now to share how it's impacting our local first responders. Bailey? Lindsay, Chris, they're the ones running into the danger, but training and protective gear still isn't enough to fully protect them from the risk of getting cancer. Those in the fire service have a different why for joining. For Colleen firefighter and paramedic Colt Dement, his why was family. It's been everything that I could imagine it to be and wanted it to be. He's been in for five and a half years, answering every call. It's just a matter of being able to adapt to the challenges that the fire service has to offer. Some of those challenges you don't always see coming. Went from waking up, feeling good, to two weeks later, laying on a, on a cot at the hospital. At only 28 years old, DeMint was diagnosed with papillary thyroid cancer that spread. Along with my thyroid and 60 something lymph nodes. He's got a scar from ear to ear where his shirt collar sits. A reminder for the dangers that come with the job. Being around that hazardous environment, LDH environments, it's worrisome. It's their fight on a different front and something not uncommon. We're trying to sweep out that cancer word outside of these bay doors as much as we can, but um, it's just, it's a heavy burden for sure. Colleen Fire Department currently has two of their own battling cancer. Since 2019, a Texas law helps firefighters get workers' compensation for occupational cancer. But not all are eligible. Only 11 cancers are covered and certain requirements must be met. Dement is just one of the hundreds not getting the help. It's very frustrating. You know, I wanted to fight that battle for a long time, and I did. Instead, his support comes from home. Without a question, brothers and sisters who I had never met before um, were, were helping out, lending a hand. The Colleen Professional Firefighters Association steps up to help their own. Well, the Benevolence Fund is, is um, an additional help uh, within the association that provides relief, uh, any, kind of, any kind of medical um, physical you know, challenges that, that firefighters um, w uh, go through. It's just one of the many ways they can support the men and women when they fight on a different front. I do want to add that Cole is doing much better. He's actually in remission right now, so we are so happy for him. The Colleen Professional Firefighters Association is currently selling tickets for a raffle fundraiser. It actually had to be pushed back because participation was so low. This is a chance for you to participate, to show support for these men and women right here that protect us, and we have information on how to do that. That's on our website, Chris and Lindsay. Yeah, and I've even heard of firefighters in our area volunteering their vacation time sure. and other things like that so that the firefighters who do get a diagnosis are able to still get a paycheck while they're waiting for help. So it's so important, Bailey. Thank you so yep. much for that story. Yeah, it happens a lot. Thanks, Bailey.